So we are live right now in Saitagadimo and I I climbed the big mountain. Well, I climbed the small mountain and after I take a path into the unknown that lead me to the big, big top of the big mountain uh, of saint agathe des monts and I even uh, like close my eyes, lay down on the rock on top, top, top of the mountain and like I fall asleep. I wake up and I don't know how long I was gone, but these are really powerful moments, um, you know, because before fall asleep, I have like these things like that need healing from the past. Like when I say the past is the past from like when I was uh, in a gang was when I was eating uh, GMO when I was you know when I was in a, a relationship with a girlfriend when I was with friends everything that was that it's past you know that like this this guy like it's it's long gone but it's things that I I, I don't process that I can just turn the page and let go because this does not serve me. Well, like it's funny because since the 999, uh, I am experiencing this and it's like I, I process, I let go and it frees me. So uh, why do I record like this right now and not on my phone on Insta story? Well, Last night I was really powerful. I was really like I got this uh, in, intuition that I I need to stop give energy to uh, how dirty the place is. Like I, you know, even how dirty it is, I still gonna be able to make it on time, and even it's gonna take me less time. So I I, I, I don't wanna keep feeding the, the the energy of the bad you know because it's bad so like i i commit to myself last night that i don't gonna give them the, my energy any longer um so like i free myself from this but out of nowhere i was finishing and i was really finishing like the last part and my phone stopped okay like Okay, I'm gonna restart it. Maybe the battery is is dead, but I, I have no sign that it's gonna be dead. So I plug it, not nothing. So uh, my battery is dead, and uh, out of nowhere. So I order another one. I'm gonna receive it tomorrow. So today it's a day without any phone, and I start the day with training my body, light and heavy, and. Uh, yeah, um, I realize uh, that like I am the only one who's stopping me. We are the only one that's stopping ourselves. Sometimes it's necessary. It's just because like uh, we don't process certain thing and we we don't have the right amount of strength. But uh, and sometimes it is it, it really doesn't feel right. You know, but this morning training, it, it's feel right. E even if I don't have my, um, my, um, my cell phone. So I, my Bluetooth, uh, headphones, uh, was not working. So I need to train with my line of my headphones. Um, and it sucks, but, uh, you know, I, I don't dwell about it. I just accept the fact that it's just one day. It's like this. Um, it shows me how important my phone is and how important my Bluetooth headphone is as well. Um, definitely, I'm going to need to buy new headphones because, uh, you know, these Edifier, um, you know, um, 60 bucks I pay. Uh, definitely, uh, it, it, it did not last, you know, um, so... I, I don't need really to talk about this because it's not a review on, on uh, headphones right now. Uh, but uh, definitely, you know, my previous one, I pay like $150. And uh, they last me like a year before they start to deteriorate. And they differ a couple months. Like, 
two months something like that and like they don't look good anymore like and um, anyway it's not a review of headphones but uh, I want to let you know that uh, after this training I was feeling really powerful and like I have this temptation go to Saint Andela, go to Prevost, go do things you know but I say no you know why I say no because yesterday where I was I climbed the mountain in Saint Adele again and I, I have all this uh, revelation that after this mountain there is other mountain and I remember that you know when I was uh, not knowing where I was going so uh, like Saint Agathe des Monts it highlighted to me but I didn't climb the mountain right away I went into the waterfall swim 20 degrees uh, and the water was like not too cold it was good but I cannot stay in the water a long time because it's getting cold uh, with the wind and everything but before I go into the water like um, a guy was meditating me meditating yeah meditating and um, yeah crows next to me um, so a guy was meditating but me I you know I jump uh, rocks on rocks and uh, go moving forward where I, I was um, heading into the unknown and uh, suddenly a woman uh, was there with a dog and uh, she have a purple shirt and um, she, I don't know how old she was but uh, she was there and taking picture of the dog and everything and I know that there is a CLSC there is not a CLSC, SPCO, sorry, where they uh, rescue dogs and stuff like that. So it's the first time I see uh, this. So I, I say, uh, oh, what a beautiful dog. And it, it's true. And I can feel like the, it's dog that have a uh, lacking of love, you know. And she said to me, out of fear, he don't really love people. I say, oh, yeah. But can I uh, pet him? I want to pet him. And uh, she say, uh, okay, uh, take a food. Like she give me a food, uh, a piece of uh, a cookie thing for for dog. And I give it to him. And the dog, he really liked me. And he was so kind. And he was out of fear. So, you know, so, sometimes it's the human that project the fear on the animal. It's not the other. It's not the other way around. The dog, you know, the dog is supposed to be uh, in in total freedom. But sometimes dogs have mission to support certain people, so they give up a certain amount of freedom to serve. This is really powerful stuff. What I just say, but this is true. Uh, nobody talk about this. I know that. So. This dog, he, he did what he have to do with his previous owner, and uh, now he's, uh, you know, he's, he's in transition, like humans are in transition to uh, a better place, you know, to evolve, because animals evolve as well. So anyway, um, after that, I went into the waterfall, after that, I climbed the mountain, and oh, on top of the mountain, not on top 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 I was going down I was like at the small mountain uh, but it's still really high and get a, a amazing view there uh, I was with okay I touched my mouse and everything shut down so I was with my this I was with this I don't gonna name it because I don't know what is in English I was like this like like in trance like and I was looking in front of me but I was more just like that and I was into the unknown you know and out of nowhere like maybe he was in front of me and I didn't see it he start to jump and everything and he run away but it was a baby deer for real like <laughs> what be at the right place at the right time 
and what you got a baby deer like a, a three meter for me three four meter for me he start to jump and it's when he jump like i see him in slow motion <laughs> so after that i uh, went uh, to another amazing view i lay down on the ground and i process a little bit and after i, I go you know it, we go through a, a deep time of uh, uh, it's like a purge you know uh, we cannot bring uh, the old into the new um, and uh, like uh, i am um, you know um, uh, important personage uh, in the new earth rising so uh of course i cannot bring certain things into the new uh, world especially if i go live there so uh like i cannot bring a uh, toxic people uh, uh and now i get this revelation that i cannot bring uh like uh, gluten-free cookies and all these sugary stuff like i understand uh what it was for uh and it's, it's only temporary it was to serve a certain purpose uh in my uh, in my life and uh, yeah and uh, you know all the commitment i say to myself when i gonna have my house i gonna do this well there is things that cannot interfere with that because like it, it's important you know it, and it's deep inside of my core that this is something that i need to put place now when i gonna have the house in the now so um chilling with the crow but now it, it goes and uh, yeah a beautiful day clear sky and uh, i um uh, i'm gonna go back i get um a video that i want to share and this as well i want to keep it short and sweet so uh, definitely uh, for this new full moon uh, you can apply what I what I do in nature you know uh, like uh, I lay down I, 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 I allow this this observation of the past uh, and I uh, without judgment like in observe uh, observator <laughs> observator <laughs> observer <laughs> I observe like my past and uh, just like I understand I need to understand and I just let it go like I understand I let go I understand I let go and uh, like uh, it, it doesn't stay come and go and after you know eventually I, I and it's funny because I, I cross my arms well, normally I don't cross my arms but it's kind of fresh you know and I want to have like a, a pillow so i take my jacket uh so i was like this holding myself but i hold myself because you know this is self-care this is self-love this process you like uh you know you 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 need to be kind with yourself you know and and i see nobody in forest by the way and it's really painful to see that there isn't nobody when i go into forest because i i like really forest like everything what happened to me in my life since i awake it it was to every all the 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 the, the people walking on my head for five years it was to push me to go into nature it was to push me to go do sports outdoor it was to go out of this bubble and go explore the world take five years you know imagine how heavily program i was so that's why you should listen to what i say because you know if you think that you were heavily pro program and where are you now well you know you're not alone you know me too so definitely we got we got a lot uh to uh to share and to talk about and like i have a whole lot of compassion for those who go through awakening because this is a choice 
we all have enlightened moment and me i choose to stop suffering and stop waiting for the world to change i change and now i change so much that i look around and i say what the fuck is going on how come nobody changed <laughs> yeah but i don't know but i me at least i am changing always you know um so i say short and sweet so i'm done now i wish you the best full moon of all time it's gonna be the the best full moon because with all this purging that we go through uh you know um, it helped us for the next like what is the next it's between the this full moon and the next new moon and repeat but it's always different if it's not different it's because you didn't learn your your lesson and you need to repeat and repeat and repeat until you put this in place that's why sometimes it's so fucking long and i'm done now blessing and blessing deep soul light beings of my heart those who listen to this i wish you the best always mark my word